from the Falco family where homeschool is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal. Today I want to join in on um, this monthly video that my girl Tanya from Project Happy Home does over on her channel. Um, she does a, a somewhat of a monthly favorites but a mommy me time favorites. Um, so instead of sharing like homeschool related things or maybe even house related things just more things that are geared towards you and for a while I've always wanted to join in up. I, I just never knew where I fit into that because I just don't really pay too much attention to products and skincare products and things like that. And now that's something I just kind of want to try and get into a little bit more. Um, I'm entering into or I have been at a different stage of motherhood, stage of motherhood lately. You know that stage where all your kids get in the car on their own, can put their shoes on on their own, um, can put their coats on on their own. Yeah, I'm in that stage now. And it's kind of bittersweet because I like the baby stage. I like the toddler messy stage. It's difficult, it's challenging, but um, I liked that stage. But now that I'm moving out of that stage, um, I do have a little bit of free time that I would like to try and fill up with um, some things like skin care and hair care and things like that. Even more than that, just kind of some things like caring about what purse or wallet I'm carrying. So I thought this would be a good time to kind of join in on um, a Mommy Me Time favorites and show you some of the things that I've been loving lately. I had reached out to her a while ago and I was like, you know, I'm not really a skincare, hair care type of girl, um, but she just reminded me that really um, mommy me time favorites was anything that I really loved. So I'm going to include a couple of makeup type things and girly type things, but then one major thing that is so me. So let me just get into it. So first of all, are we appreciating my little space here that I created? <laughs> So the first three things are actually going to be um, makeup related. Um, these are just things I have been loving while I do my makeup. Um, I'm trying to do my makeup a lot more. I like wearing makeup, but I very much so like not wearing makeup. Um, but I noticed that I'm a lot more productive when I get up in the morning and just go through the process of doing my hair and doing my makeup. So just spending that little bit of extra time on myself has made a difference in my productivity. So I want to keep it going. Um, I definitely wouldn't choose this if my kids were under four, under four or five, but they're not. Um, Savannah's five, Kendall is eight, and Cameron is about to be 10. So, you know, I just... <laughs> and just have a little bit of free time to, to spend a little bit more time on myself. So, I have been enjoying it. It's been a little strange for me. Does anybody else have that issue? Um, I'm not really, I wouldn't say I'm not a girly girl. I like girly things, but the time and energy and effort that it takes to do those things was, I think, something that I underestimated and something that I was unwilling to do. Um, I just much rather spend all my time looking at homeschool books and um, camera equipment, but um, I'm learning to spend a little bit of extra time doing those things because they do make me feel good as well. And then you know Brian appreciates that too. So, <laughs> so we getting all the points around here lately. Um, the first thing is my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. This lip gloss is so bomb. I love it so much. It goes with everything. This one is the Fenty Glow. I think she has another one now that I totally want to get as well since this one is pretty much on its way out. But it's the best packaging ever. I appreciate it so much. But um, it's just like the perfect amount of shimmer and shine, I guess. And it goes over any lip gloss. And if I just want to wear it with nothing on, I just really like it. I also really appreciate that it's like a grown-up scent. 
The next one is a makeup brush. So you guys, I don't normally do the whole makeup brush thing. I just have whatever brush I have and I use whatever it is. But I got this It Cosmetics um, Skin Perfecting Foundation Brush from my mom. I love it. It is so soft and it makes my foundation go on really, really nicely. Plus, it's gorgeous. Just to have little things like this all over um, really makes a difference in helping me just kind of keep moving through the day. I know that sounds so basic, but it's true. I found that just paying a little bit more detail to the little things have just really made those everyday things that I need to get accomplished or get done just a little bit nicer. So this brush has been one of them it's so smooth next up is another makeup related thing i never use setting powder but when this fenty beauty setting powder came out i figured i would give it a try and i had a gift card so this is the pro filter instant retouch setting powder in the color cashew i've been feeling things out when it comes to makeup it's hard for me i'm not um, a bunch of product you know user type of girl so I generally if I get one thing I just ride that thing out until it's gone unless it's horrible and it you know and I really really just don't like it but I really enjoy this I love the smell of it I feel like it makes my makeup last a bit longer I can be a grease situation a very oily situation going on and um, this really helps keep that at bay for a little bit longer so I've been loving it plus the packaging okay <laughs> I I am a design girl and I appreciate the packaging. It's gorgeous and it smells really good. Smells are a big thing for me. I mean, when I was younger, I had really bad asthma and couldn't do anything with any fragrance. Um, so now as I've gotten older, I appreciate fragrance, but it has to be... I'm very particular about it. So um, I like that products have um, scents and fragrances, but they can't be too powerful. Um... I'm just really funny about them so I really like um, the fragrance that that setting powder has so next up I know you've seen this before because I've shown it in many videos but this is how much I adore this it is just a mug that I picked up from Target a bit ago that I definitely need to go back and get more to make it a set but I am obsessed with this mug <laughs> I use it every single day. I love it so much. It's just something about it. It's the shape and the color blocking. I don't know. I just love it. It's so gorgeous. Next up on my favorites list is this bag. First of all, it's a gorgeous bag. The color is like incredible. I love the little like flower feel at the top of it um, and the way that the pockets pucker at the top it just makes me so happy i feel like it's the perfect use of space for a mom in particular it also has like um the crossbody straps on it which i definitely need this bag was given to me as a gift from my sister in love and i was like so grateful for it um it wasn't something that i picked out or that i had been longing to have but just to know that she was thinking about me and the special story that came along with it just it just filled my heart up it really did so i love um every time i wear it out it just means something special to me that somebody special was thinking about me i know i know heart on my sleeve anyway <laughs> but it's the truth that's the way i feel so on top of the fact that it's absolutely gorgeous just knowing that it came from somebody special and that um there was just a special story behind it just really makes me happy when i'm getting ready to go out that i don't have a diaper bag or a library bag or some kind of bag like that i can actually carry like a grown-up bag i love the next favorite is my new wallet. First of all, I love the color. You guys know that I'm all blued out lately. Blue has just been speaking to my whole entire heart. So we're rolling with it, okay? Um, but my husband got this wallet for me for Christmas. And I absolutely love it. It's nice and simple. It's beautiful. It's got nice um, spaces and pockets and things. It has this gorgeous little detail on the zipper. This little braided number that is just so pretty. The very last thing on my mommy me time favorites list is so me. Okay, I'm trying to do better with the makeup and the hair and the purses and all that other stuff. But this is the stuff I really love. Um, yeah, 
this baby. This is my new GoPro. This is the GoPro 7 Black. If you know me, then you know that I love my camera gear. It keeps all my memories. It lets me be creative and I'm super grateful that my husband appreciates that about me and I don't feel bad <laughs> when we invest in these types of things because he knows I'm going to use them and I'm going to enjoy them. So whenever I get a new piece of equipment, it always takes a minute for me to get to where I'm using it all the time. So I haven't used this baby as much as I I have wanted to but just give me some time <laughs> I'll be using it all the time and um, I have plans to do things for the first time like rafting and canoeing and hiking so I'm excited to have this along I've got a few accessories to use with it like a head strap and a chest strap yeah your friends extra <laughs> Okay. But this type of stuff is what really, really makes me happy. I'm really excited about joining in on this little um, collab. She didn't invite me this time around. She didn't know I was doing it. But if you do not already follow Tanya from Project Happy Home, she's amazing. I love her so much. I'm hoping that I can join her more often doing these because they're fun. But this is a nice way to just kind of get back to me and what I like to do in my me time. And if there isn't um, things that you're doing for your me time you need to find them um i feel like in the beginning it may not be a whole bunch of makeup and hair type of things you know a lot of times my me time was just lighting a candle and just sitting in silence <laughs> you know if i could get five minutes of silence and a pretty flickering candle in the background that was my mommy me time or sometimes i barely got that there are different seasons that we go through and just learning to embrace those seasons is really important so that's what i'm trying to do now and to be honest with you this was kind of difficult for me because um i think that the the different type of content and things that I have coming, outfits and um, makeup and hair things that I'm excited about starting to do more of. Um, it kind of meant to me that I was closing that chapter where, you know, there's lots of messes and spills and spit up on shirts and things like that. And while it doesn't seem um, like those are wonderful things, when you're leaving that season, it can be kind of like you're I mean it's exciting but there can also be like sadness attached to it that you're kind of closing that um, season of your life I don't know I'm not gonna get emotional because this is supposed to be a happy video <laughs> But um, I think that the key to moving past those sad feelings is not to ignore them, but to acknowledge them and honor them and um, be grateful for them. Um, but I think the best way for me to honor them and be grateful for having those times is to um, be excited and engaged with the season that is ahead. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm learning. Um, I think since my intro is all about um, having a teachable spirit, I should probably try and end the videos with the lesson that I'm learning. So that would be the lesson that I'm learning. Hi. Hi. Hi guys. Hi.